My name is Tom Rudder. That's my, uh, that's my real name, not my nom de plume. And this is a uh, Harvard Mark IV behind us here. Harvard Solo, confirm that you're briefed to do your routine right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, sir. The airport is yours. Here's Tom Rudder and his first pass through the air show area. Comes back on the stick. Up he goes, straight up in the air. Airspeed bleeding off, leading off over the top. Head down, feet up. Going to do himself a hammerhead turn. This is a turn that was developed by crop dusters to get him back over the field very quickly. But here you're seeing it done by the magnificent Harvard. Right or back at us he comes once again. Up goes the nose. Up he goes. Now watch this. Right up here in the top. Snap rolling that big old Harvard with barely enough power to get the thing through that maneuver at that low airspeed. In case you missed a picture of it, Tom's going to lay that one on you again as he comes off to this side. Back comes the stick. Up he goes. Airspeed falling off, falling off, falling off, but enough for that snap roll through the top. It's just a sort of a stall of one wing, essentially. Uh, the most difficult of the routines at the beginning, the, the hammerhead's got to be timed uh, pretty accurately. With this plane, the power to, to weight ratio is such that if, if you don't have the right speed going into the maneuver, you just have to have the discipline not to do the maneuver. Go do another maneuver. The snap roll is actually a spin in the horizontal plane. And the idea is with a plane this big to get it into the snap roll, and then once the momentum starts, get it out. And you kind of watch the sky and the, uh, and the ground swap ends a little bit, and then you're, you're looking down at the runway again, and it's over. Pretty positive maneuver uh, if you go into it right. The entry speed and the entry uh, feel on the control is critical for the snap roll. The aircraft uh, is completely stock, with the exception is, I, is that I have modern instruments and I have modern avionics, my radio package here. It has a Spitfire yoke, so the pilots have transitioned from this plane into Spitfire. We're, we're familiar with the, uh, with the control field. Here he comes, up comes the nose, and here we go. We'll count one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. The physical demands aren't too much with this plane. Uh, you're pulling about a maximum of four Gs, four times your body weight. And uh, that's not too bad. Some of the, the aerobatic people, you know, they fly seven or eight Gs. We don't, we don't put that kind of a G load on these old planes or these old pilots. Uh. That bright red smoke working off the tips of the airplane's wings. Great flying airplane. It's got a uh, Pratt & Whitney engine, R1340, 600 horse, and a Hamilton uh, propeller on it. Good old reliable bird. Had it for 20 years, been a good pal, good friend of the family, and I'll probably have it for another 20 if it'll uh, stick with me. Tom's us a lower leaf, man. You see those smoke trails painting the picture through the sky as he takes it off to the right side and slowly rolls the airplane. And again, right in there, you're getting down around uh, speed where you want to do something about getting more. So Tom goes over the top and heads straight down to pick up some air speed. Brings her down through here, building that speed up close to 200 miles an hour. Back comes the stick, and up he goes. And nice slow roll to the inverted. Now, the, the uh, Harvard can only be inverted for about Oh, five seconds or so. And then the uh, carburetor runs out of gas. There's no pressurized fuel system on it. And what happens then is the engine can go and stop running for just a second. The prop will keep going. As soon as you get it right side up again, though, it will start running again. It never gets routine. It's still a lot of fun. It's still exciting. And I like the whole process. If you've had a good day and you feel you've flown well, uh, and you get down, you get good feedback, not only from the crowd, uh, but from the other pilots, it's, uh, it's a big deal. It, uh, it's very, very satisfying. OK, the Harvard got one more pass. Thank you, Harvard Tom. Tom Rudder in the Harvard.